Milwaukee Dive Apparel, art and clothing inspired by the Great Lakes. In October of 1929, the 338-foot steel car ferry Milwaukee left her namesake port, bound for Grand Haven, Michigan. She sailed straight into the teeth of a horrific storm and would not be seen above the waves again. The wreck of the Milwaukee was found in 1972, lying upright intact in 120 feet of water. As she slid into her icy realm, the wooden pilot house and other above deck structures separated from the vessel, most likely due to built up air pressure. Facing east and lying some 70 feet off the port bow is the pilot house. A line tied between the structure and the hull aids in navigation during times of low visibility. Today, visibility is exceptionally good perhaps 60 feet or more, and we can easily see the structure long before we get to it, as well as the associated debris around it. Eighty-three years later, the wood cabin is remarkably well preserved, thanks to the cold, fresh water of Lake Michigan. Even after all this time, her name, Milwaukee can still be seen above the port side door in yellow paint. Time and some help from the weight of layers of invasive zebra mussels conspire to pull the fragile structure apart board by board. The pilot house served as epicenter from which commands controlling the ship's actions originated. It was located above the weather deck near the bow. Through these very windows, Captain Robert McKay no doubt looked out upon an angry lake during the final desperate hours. It was in this room the decision was made to return to the safety of the port from which they came. The following sea, a product of a gale force northeaster, would see to it that safe haven would never be reached. Radiant heat pipes remain attached to the weather wall, still willing to remove an autumn chill from the air for brave men who are but now ghosts. The hull of the once proud vessel appears in the mist at the edge of our visibility, standing silent watch over her wayward control room. Soon the waving of my dive buddy's light will remind me it's time to leave this place for the calm sunlit surface. The old girl will be at peace again until our next visit.